Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jacob Zire. I'm a film critic, a filmmaker, and, well, what's another one? An animator and whatnot. And I like to tell you about a movie that I really hate. Gone with the Wind, 1939. And, the film is basically I mean, all I can ever say is it's like a winner of Ted Golden like Oscars but or shall I say Ted Golden Raspberries <laughs> Anyways, um, here, and let me just tell you what the movie is, here's the plot. There's this, well, like, first of all, I just want to say that this movie is an overdramatic disaster piece. I mean, it, it's not as good as you think it is, let's just put it that way. Um, it's about this very... Like, very, um, hypocritically confusing, um, woman, like Southern Belle, by the name of Scarlett O'Hara. And she falls in love with this guy uh, who has a sister named Melanie, and then, um, she, um, well, then the confusing part is, um, then she, and then she hits him, and then she, and then she meets, uh, you know, Clark Gable, who kind of spoke in front of the guy, and then, um, and, let me tell you something, I think Clark Gable is a great actor, he, I mean, he's really cool, but, why did he have to play a stupid role like that stupid Rhett Butler? I mean, I mean, I know it's one of his most famous roles, but, it's not a good role, like, for him. <clears throat> and, um, man, what I mean by a cad is, like, you know, like, if you've seen Lady and the Tramp, for instance, like, you know, the dog, you know, who meets Lady, I mean, that's what I mean by a cad, you know, kind of a devil-may-care, you know, um, a personality, basically, he's just an asshole. <clears throat> But, um, anyways, um, and then, um, then he, apparently for some stupid reason, he falls in love with her. I mean, she falls in love with him. Which I, which, which I don't get, and then she, and, and throughout the movie, she keeps, like, saying, No, I don't love you. Yeah, now I love you. No, I don't. Now I do. No, I don't. You know, it's like, you know, think of it as, like, you know, Oh, uh, she, he loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. You know, it's... I hate that kind of element in a movie. Well, anyways, um... Um, let me see. And then, um... Melanie, the sister, was going to have a baby, but of course her um, brother was in the war. Well, I mean, this is before that Melanie had the baby, but her brother, or, I mean, her husband, I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of, that's kind of the part which is kind of, sounds a bit illegal, it's like incest. Or is that his, her cousin, or, I don't know. Well, anyway, she has the baby, and I mean, this is like in the Civil War, like in the 1860s. And, um, well, um, in order for the baby to be taken care of, you have, like, this really, like, very stereotypically dolty, you know, prissy who is none other than an overexcited, I guess you might say a really bold, like, like, maid. And, um, and, um, 
I mean, a lot of the cinematography is really good, but God, the plot performances really have to go. I mean, especially with with you know Vivian Lee, who is probably the drama queen. She's probably like the most over the top of all the other characters. And and then um. Of course, I mean, I only seen the first part. I couldn't bear to see the second part because the second part was too long. 120 freaking minutes of extra footage. I mean, I'd rather see because you know the first part, you know, and then you have the second part. You know, it's like a sequel to the movie. You know, technically, it's actually the movie in two parts. You know, but <coughs> the thing is. I mean, why? I mean, this movie is terrible. I mean, I mean, it will be good visuals, but I mean, the writing is just horrible. I mean, it's, I mean, it's very over the top. The characters are very stupid, and. <laughs> It's trash! It's rubbish! And... What else? Um, and then at the ending, which I just find is like a, like a very flippin', like, kind of a, uh, ending, is like when, you know, she says her line, As God is my witness, I will pass the fourth. No, that's not. It. I mean, I will. I will never go hungry again. And then, and I wish I would just say the end. Damn it! I mean, I mean, come on. That would have been a great way to end the movie. I mean, you know, just short and sweet. But no, they had to have a second part. And the movie's so flipping long. I mean. The movie is crap. I mean, I mean, who could possibly want to watch this when there's a lot of, um, I mean, the movie really lacks a lot of things. Like, I know that the, it's very accurate to the time period, which is the 1860s, you know, during the Civil War, and, you know, this is like the, the old South, you know. But, I mean, the thing that I don't seem to really like about the movie is, well, for one thing, it's too long, and you have, like, the acting was too over the top, and, well, I know that over the top acting was a very, like, very common standard in the the 1930s and 1940s, even through the 50s, I mean, over-the-top acting was basically, like, um, the technique that was used, but still, I mean, they're doing it wrong, and I don't like it, because... Ten Academy Awards, my ass. It's more like ten golden raspberries, like I think I told you earlier. Especially for Vivian Lee as the wait, one's a the one's a Razzie for worst actress and for worst supporting actor would be Clark Gable. And the directing by Victor Fleming, you know, he directed The Wizard of Oz in 1939. Of course, these. You know, the Gone, sorry, Gone with the Wind came out in the same year, though. But The Wizard of Oz was much better. I mean, it was shorter. It, I mean, it's a lot more likable than this. Oh, this this movie's overrated. That's all I can say. I mean, there's too much praise being put in this movie. I, I hate it a lot.